I tell you what, that saw cuts like butter. So you're probably asking yourself, why is the walkway cut up? Well, we uh, got to do a little bit of electrical. So I can run a new uh, line out to the pond uh, last year. Well, the past couple of years I had this set up here and it broke a couple, almost about a couple months ago. And uh, so we're going to replace it, dig all this stuff out, put a new uh, piece of line in and we'll be good to go. Um, as you can see last time I didn't go that deep because I didn't have a really good saw back then. But uh, yeah, oh look what else we got. We got a couple lawn mowers. These two lawn mowers here are complete junk. Um, I picked them up for scrap anyway. All I wanted off them was this one bolt that's sitting right here. Uh, and this is going to go onto the uh, Toro personal pizza. I sit in the shed there that I did that motor swap on. So these are just going to go for scrap. Uh, nothing really on them. Then I picked up this uh, Toro personal piece again. Um, pretty nice unit. It runs, it mows and everything. It just needs a basic tune-up. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to list it the way it is. I only paid 20 bucks for it. Those things I got for free. And then, uh, yeah, so I got this Freibilt Super Bronco Rototiller with a Chinese engine on it. So apparently what the deal is, um, she got a little water, I guess, in the tank, or she did, and it rusted up the carburetor bowl. So it looks like a regular Honda clone carburetor. I might have one of those. Um, so I guess they took it apart. Um, didn't know what they were doing, and sure enough, it's in my hands now. Paid, um, I think I paid 50 bucks for this, um, so it's not too bad. I mean, it's just a little Chinese engine. And the best part about it, guys, this thing's only not even a year old. Oh, yeah. Yep, 700 bucks it says, 699 at Lowe's. Um, and imagine this thing is probably only a year old. Um, I mean, just judging by the look of it, I mean, look at the tillers. That's like, damn. Probably only used one season. And uh, that was it. I don't think there's a date on it. Nope, no date on the thing there. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might just check it out. Um, see what I can put into it. Plug looks pretty healthy. <laughs> yeah, right. Pretty rusty. But overall, it's pretty nice, you know. It's too bad. I wonder if the warranty is still good on this. I might have to look into that. But, uh, yeah, so, that's my load for the day. I cut up some of them blocks and shit like that. From the fence. Um, oh, it's so nice in here. No, there's nothing in the boxes, so don't get your hopes up. Just a bunch of packing material. Um, so, yeah, so today is, uh, Thursday. Uh, I was supposed to pick up an Aaron's tractor today. Uh, it turns out the Aaron's tractor was not yet available. And, yeah, it was, I saw the tractor. It wasn't worth what they were asking. Um, they were, I think they were asking like 200. Uh, it had a 14 horsepower Briggs and Stratton Vanguard on it. No, it had a 15 horsepower Briggs and Stratton Vanguard on it. Um, hydro foot drive, and that's pretty much the only two good things. The steering on it was completely junk. Uh, tires, and that all that great. It pretty much needs a new steering box, and yeah, the price. I think they want like 200 for it. I mean, it's just not worth it. I mean, it is a little bit, but I'm not going to make so much money off it to make me go up and get it. So, I think I'll wait for another tractor. Um, but yeah, I just thought I should throw this little update video up. I didn't really make a whole lot of video today. Uh, I was in and out most of the day. I had to finish up the dryer. Um, or the dryer vent system that I was telling you guys about a few days ago. I think I told you. Um, I had to cut up that brick and stuff like that. The rock. Uh... Yeah, now I'm home. It's 4 o'clock, I think. Um, so, yeah. That was my day, I guess. Um, yeah, well, I gotta fix this. Uh, well, not fix it, but I gotta make a little mailbox mount. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. We just picked this mailbox up for the lady I'm doing some of the work for. And, uh, you know, $15 Home Depot deal. It just needs a new bracket on the back. Just because it's getting mounted on the railing, so I could just weld something up or bend something up, and we're pretty much good to go. Um, yeah, I did a lot of ripping apart last night trying to find a cola starter. 
that I thought I had, but I guess I didn't have. So all that shit's gonna get packed in there again. But uh, like I said, I'm not really worried about it. We're gonna start shipping some stuff out of here. I'm hoping. Uh, so I'll we'll probably do some boxing up for a uh, Saturday, and then everything will get shipped out Monday. So give or take, it'll be going. Um, but man, it's pretty damn warm out. I gotta say, it's warm and humid. Um, and here it's not too bad actually. Let's see. Yeah, it's not too bad in here. But outside, it's, uh, it's a little warm, you know. But, uh, yeah, so. Figured uh, I'd just do a little update for you guys. I didn't really make a bunch of videos and shit like that, what I usually do. Yesterday's video got completely dicked over big time. I forgot to edit out the part where my friend came in and stuff like that. So that's why I just did that. But, um. Yeah, oh, and yeah, I'm sure you guys want to eBay sales update. Uh, so yeah, I just give you a quick little update on the eBay sales. Um, the John Deere rear end that came out of that LT155 that sold for a uh, hundred and fifty-two dollars, I do believe. Hundred and fifty-two dollars for that transmission came out of the John Deere LT155 Craftsman hydrostatic transmission uh, hydro gear uh, that sold for a hundred and twenty-three dollars or a hundred and twenty-four dollars. Um, these two black seats with no rips or anything in them, uh, they sold for 20 bucks a piece. Um, what else? Oh, that uh, big, actually this motor right here, the John Deere motor, the 15 horse uh, Kohler, that sold for $390. Not worth shipping, so that went up there in price quite a bit. Um, I know this John Deere grill is up at like 20 bucks so far, that hasn't sold yet. Uh, this gearbox right here, that's up to like 50 bucks, not sold yet. Um, and there's a bid placed on that uh, 11 horsepower Briggs and Stratton motor. So we're doing pretty good. Um, Alright, that's something. Anything else good in here? What else? I haven't even looked through here. Children's calendar, first day. Alright then. Yeah, I think this came from uh, Dwayne's old house there. I'm not really sure what the deal with this stuff is, but it just reeks of perfume, so I'm imagining it probably came from his house. So I gotta give him a call in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so I guess not so much today of a video, but uh, I guess we'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do a little bit of work on that rototiller. Tomorrow we get the Husqvarna. Uh, tractor in. Uh, well, it's already been here, but we shipped it out, and then it's coming back again. You know, you know how that works. Um, oh, we're gonna start a new little project. Um, not this weekend, probably next weekend. I gotta wait for the rest of the stuff to come in. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of work on the truck. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but it'll be a pretty good uh, little project. Um, <laughs> um, so I know uh, I know a lot of you guys like this kind of stuff on cars and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be doing it and uh, stuff like that. So I'm still waiting. I'm still looking for a parts truck. Uh, I might go up to an auction maybe this weekend uh, with a buddy and see if I can't pick up a parts truck at an auction. You know, you never know. But uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys until tomorrow and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so oh yeah, always wear earplugs when you're. Uh, cutting up a bunch of brock too because i didn't today my ears are just still ringing holy